is a very sad story of betrayal. This is a very sad story of betrayal that um, Herodotus tells us in uh, histories. Now, uh, in the previous video, uh, I think two or three videos, I've talked about um, Miletus um, organizing a revolt against the Persians. And the last video, I talked, ab they talked about the fall of Miletus and the battle that Miletus fought alongside um, uh, its neighbors who had come to form an alliance with them. And uh, one of the neighbors uh, who came to, into the alliance was uh, Samos. Now, Samos is an island that is to the, it is in the uh, Aegean Sea. It is uh, to the east of what we know, to, to the west of what we know today as Turkey. In fact, less than two kilometers from the coast of Turkey. Um, so it's very close to Turkey. Uh, it was a very um, influential city in the ancient world um, at the time when um, Herodotus was alive and at the time when he was writing histories and the years before and maybe the years after, it was a very influential uh, city. It was occupied by Greeks, still occupied by Greeks. Uh, the people of Samos were mostly of the Ionian tribe. Now, and uh, Samos is also known to be the birthplace of Pythagoras, the guy who came up to, uh, with the Pythagoras theorem, uh, the mathematician. Uh, it's also home to another guy, a uh, philosopher called Epicurus, if I'm not, I'm, I'm not butchering his name. Yeah, so Samos is, was a well-known uh, Greek city-state. Um, now, uh, during the revolt against the Persians, um, especially when Miletus was fighting for its survival, Samos came to their side. Even though when you read history, histories and when you come up, you go through other sources, then you realize that um, Samos uh, didn't like Miletus. I've come across uh, texts that say that Samos were often or most of the time jealous of, of Miletus. Uh, but when this time came, Samos was one of those uh, city-states that came to fight alongside Miletus. But then the war did not go well for the alliance of the Greek city-states, the Ionian city-states in particular. And I told you that um, uh, most of the allies had to run away. And Samos is one of those that ran away when they realized that they could not uh, sustain the resistance against the passion. So they escaped the, the Samian, went back to their uh, island, but they knew that they, they, they had to think fast because the Persians were going to come for them after they had dealt with Miletus. Now they knew uh, the Persians were not going to just ignore uh, things. They were going to deal with Miletus, and once they are done with Miletus, they were coming for the Samians. So the Samians decide to run away, to escape from their land. And it, it, it happened that around that time, there was this, um, this city-state. I don't know whether it was really Greek because it was found in Sicily, which is southern part of, of what we know today as Italy. It was called uh, Sankla. Now, Sankla, the ruler of Sankla was a guy known as Sithas. And the Sanklians, I don't know for what reasons, but they had sent messages to the Ionian tribes to telling them that they are welcoming them to, to Sicily and they are going to give them a land called Kaleakte. And they will allow them or support them to build their own city there. So this was an offer that was uh, sent to all Ionian city-states. Um, so nobody had taken up the offer. Uh, but now the Samians were in this place where they knew that their stay in Samos was going to be uh, disrupted by the Persians who were going to come to punish them for taking sides with the Miletians. So the, the Samians decided to take up that offer and they put, a, they put their belonging in, in their ships and their children, their women and everything they own and they started, um, they started a voyage towards Sicily where they were expecting to take on 
or to accept the offer by the Sanctians about this land that Herodotus tells us was called Kale Acte. Uh, it was part of Sicily. Um, so they take this voyage and while they are close to Sicily, they pass uh, near another, um, another uh, um, city-state ruled by a guy called as Anaxilus. Anaxilus uh, ruled a city-state called uh, Regio. Uh, it was still part of Sicily. Now they pass through there and this guy talks to them and he tells them, you know what? Uh, the king of Sanclia or the Sanclians have gone to war to fight another city and they are trying to, to take over another city. They are laying siege on another city and tells them, uh, this is an opportunity for you guys. Instead of you taking the, the land he is giving you, the Kale Acte, why don't you guys take this as an opportunity? You go uh, right now to Sankla and you take it over because there is no one that them, all the men have gone with the king to do this war they are doing somewhere else. So this is an opportunity for you to, instead of uh, taking the land they offer you, you take this land, their own land, because it's a better land. And the Samians, instead of uh, being like, this guy has been kind to us, he's offering us this, we shouldn't do that to him or to them, they decide to take that offer. And uh, this, um, this guy, Anaxilos, was not in good terms with um, the Sanclians, of course, it's obvious. So the, the Samians go <laughs> and they capture uh, Sankla. And now the Sanclian, wherever they are fighting, they learn about this and of course they, they rush home. Now they are coming home, they realize the guys who are expecting to be kind to them have decided to take over our land while we are away. And as they are rushing back, they talk to another guy who was, uh, who was ruling another uh, city called Gela. This other guy goes by the name of Hippocrates. It's a, a name that is interesting. So Hippocrates, they talk to the king of Sankla, Caesar, sends a message to Hippocrates telling him that you, I want your help. There are these people who you were offering a piece of land, but they came while we are away and we hear that they are taking over our home. So can you come and help us? And Hippocrates accepts to come and help Synthas um, fight the Samians or remove them from, from Sankla. But Hippocrates was like the friend of the Sanclians. But turns out he was not a good friend. So he comes and he reaches uh, Sankla and the Sanclians are also like they are just arriving also so they are expecting hypocrites will help them with his own army and then they counter the Samians and remove them from Sankla. Uh, so when hypocrites are, arrives, I think he sees an opportunity. He realizes that uh, uh, Sithas is no longer a strong king. And what does he do? He captures him. Instead of helping him fight the Samians, he captures Scythas, he puts him on, um, on chains, and he goes talk to the Samians. Now, Hippocrates goes talk to the Samians and he tells them, um, I'm not here to fight you, I want us to, to talk and have an agreement. And they talk and they agree, now this is what is going to happen. We are going to split the wealth of the Sanclians. You take half, we take half, you take them as slaves. We, in fact, hypocrites captures all the Sanclians and makes them slaves and he gives them to Samians and he tells them, you guys kill all of them. But the Samians, okay, did not kill them. They, they, they made them slaves. And um, now, but hypocrites goes with the, the king, the, 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 the Sithas, the king of, of Sanclians. He takes him, he takes him to some other island and he holds him there as a prisoner. But this Scythus manages to run away. He runs away and he runs to Asia and he goes to the Darius, the great of Persia. And Darius welcomes him and um, Herodotus tells us that Darius was very kind to him. He managed to organize so that Scythus will come to Sicily once in a while to visit and then, but 
Sithas lived all his uh, the rest of his life in Persia, but he lived a very comfortable life and he died in Persia. So this was a very, I found it to be a very sad case of uh, betrayal that Herodotus is telling us because the, the Sanclians were betrayed by the Samians who they had offered to give land. And then the Sanclians was also betrayed by this other guy, Anaxilus, even though that's understandable because they were not in very good terms. But even more uh, disturbing is that they were um, betrayed by the by hypocrites who was like their friend he, and the friend they had called to come and help the, help them overcome the Samians so so that's a, a sad story of uh, betrayal that Herodotus tells us in, in, in histories